Hey guys, welcome back. I am super excited to uh, share how my test batch for Medusa, which is my Medusa Pale Ale that I'm going to be brewing at Pilot Project in Chicago in one week. Uh, very nervous. Um, but I, I definitely intended to try this beer like long before I went to Chicago, but it's been busy. So here we are. And Hopefully it's good enough to brew. So if you're in Illinois, keep an eye out for this, probably in May-ish, I would imagine. Um, unfortunately, there's no distribution outside of Illinois. Given the United States brewery distribution laws, like lots of stuff needs to change with legislation so that we can all have all the same beer, uh, even if we live very far apart. Anyway, I digress. Uh, let's try this beer. Okay, so it's a little hazy. I find it with gelatin the other day because I definitely uh, mixed up a ton of yeast when I transferred it. Um, I actually cut my dip tube in my brew built system so that it kind of transfers better because it would get stuck because um, the, the hose was just too long. So it would kind of float and it would work when the beer was full. But as you got like halfway down, it would suck in some CO2 and it was a whole mess. But it's fixed now, it works great. Um, but that means I got a lot more yeast in my beer than I anticipated. So it's still a little hazy even after I find it with gelatin, but I only find it like a couple days ago, so it'll probably clear out still. Um, I transferred it last week, so it hasn't been in the keg very long. Um, it's got a beautiful white head, verging on uh, off-white cream, and it's a little darker than I had anticipated, but I kind of like it. I love a nice orange beer. Um, and you know, it'll, it'll look a little lighter once it clears out too, I think. But overall, I, I think it looks like a very nice beer. All right. It smells, uh, honestly, it smells like Cascade, which is kind of weird because it's only Medusa hops. Um, it's very tangerine-y little lime little papaya definite papaya going on this is definitely a tropical beer perfect for springtime even though it's like cloudy and cold here right now oh it smells like i i feel like i use this description a lot um but it smells like those like fruit cups you ate as a kid like in syrup that was like papaya and like half a pineapple and like some mandarin oranges and like random fruit you can't identify that's exactly what it tastes, it smells like. Um, but those were always my favorite thing to have in my lunch, so I'm kind of a big fan. Maybe I actually should make a beer one day that's like fruit cup from the 90s. <sighs> yeah, it just smells really good. I'm getting like maybe a hint of lime. I don't know if I already said that, but yeah, it's definitely like papaya in your face. All right, so let's taste the test beer. I can say I would order this at a bar. Um, the, the tropical actually does come through. I was gonna say it doesn't really. Um, I just drink a coffee, so like, I, I always need to get a couple sips in for me to really be able to hit my flavor profile notes. Um, but what I perceive up front is um, bitterness, a very light bitterness. Um, it's uh, pretty, uh, light in body, a little dry, um, but the kind of dry that just makes you want to keep drinking it. It's like a chuggable beer, of course. Mm. I'm getting that papaya flavor. It's so interesting. It's definitely, a uh, you know, nothing really comes right out and like expresses itself in this but it's really really nice it is you know what it is a fruit salad beer i guess 
The body is probably so light because I use the Chris Escarpment Labs Crispy Yeast, and that's actually what we're going to use for the commercial brew. Um, and we're using Medusa hops, like we're literally recreating this recipe. And uh, yeah, so ordered the yeast from Canada and everything. Shout out Escarpment Labs. Um, I love the dry finish that Crispy gives you because it's just like, it makes like a pool beer basically out of anything you put in it, which I mean, hello, I live in LA. Like that's all I really want. It's gonna probably be 90 degrees here in like five minutes, given our temperature fluctuations at this time of year. But um, I also I also really like the yeast because it kind of lets the hops like speak for themselves. Like a lot of yeast, like you know, if you use Belgian or wheat, whatever, they give a lot of the flavor of the beer. Like something like. I, I've read like 70 to 90 percent of the flavor of beer is the yeast, but I think this one's um, pretty nondescript, so it allows everything else in the beer to kind of shine, which is why I think we're getting this fruit salad flavor from the hops. You know what I think would be funny to try? is to do a blind taste test between this and my crispy lime lager and see if people can uh, tell the difference because it's very much in the same like vibe. Even though it looks completely different, um, it has the same kind of characteristics. It's fruity. It's like a little like limey tartness going on in it, um, which like blends with that papaya flavor, which I find to be more of like a deep sweetness um it's kind of hard to describe it's you literally just go buy a fruit cup and like eat the papaya and it. it'll taste you this the, that's this beer i'm honestly very happy and relieved um <laughs> this is the first time i've tried this beer and i fly to chicago on wednesday <laughs> oh man yeah Playing it fast and loose as always, Sarah, huh? Yeah. I think if you guys are able to get your hands on this, once it comes out, keep an eye out for it. The label will just have a big Medusa head on it, so it should be pretty identifiable. And I'll obviously post when it's coming out and my label and everything on my Instagram coming up. But... I really hope you guys get to try it. And I don't know, maybe if you like live in Indiana, you drive over the border and go get some. I don't know your life. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I really hope you get to try my first commercial beer. I'm so excited. <laughs> See you guys next time.